Hey guys, welcome to game two of the N18 battles. This time it's going to be Jayun versus Dragon. I think these are a little bit more, and again, I'll try to... I'm not sure whether I want to keep that up or, or not. I'll, I'll bring it up here and there when I want to reference it. Upper right-hand corner, we have Jayun, or sorry, Dragon starting as the orange Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Jayun starting as the white Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse. And I think this is like more official team battle stuff where they've actually chosen sides or keeping tally. Before, it seemed like it was a little bit more like King of the Hill-ish maybe last man standing and it was just like we'll play through each teams and whoever goes from there and honestly I feel like this is more for practice between these guys and to just kind of have a good time and then maybe even just produce content for us streamers and get the streamers out there speaking of which check out Dragon at Dragon BW Dragon BW for Brood War on Twitch TV Jayun uh, J-A-E-Y-U J-A-E-U... Wow, I can't say it. This is my day right now. J-A-E-Y-U-N. Jayun. I don't know why I wanted to say U instead of Y there. Ugh, Jayun. On Twitch TV. It's like I can't even spell his my own name <laughs> at the moment. Go figure. Ugh, but I can still commentate StarCraft and entertain you guys. Anyway. Jayun. Oftentimes I will be... Maybe yeah, Ya if Ma Jayun was blocking it, which is I don't know if that's insulting or a compliment. Or Ye Jun. Yeah, I can't whatever. <laughs> Frazzled all of a sudden. You will see me in Jayun's chat quite often. I like hanging out in his stream and learning from him. Uh, and also Gypsy. And also if I say anything wrong in these spaces as well, I am definitely a guy who likes uh I can't remember if it was like the internet law where you say something wrong, people will correct you. I also like Cunningham's law, so I love hearing feedback, particularly if the top players in these matches uh, see them and wanted to comment uh, comment on anything. Although most of the time they're like, "Yeah, you're, that was good enough." <laughs> like, damn it, I want to learn something. The simulator up for both players. We do see that the gateway the probe scout a little bit early in the base for uh, dragon comparatively. Cybernetic core warping in. No initial zealot. And so no scouting information for Jayun thus far. But actually, looks like he is going to build that initial zealot. On both sides. So, no scouting information though for Jayun, period. So he's just sitting in the base, which makes me wonder is he going to play more aggressive or is this just a. Was this just a miscalculation on his part? Did he want to just keep that probe in his base, go a little bit later? Is he relying on. Or maybe he just forgot. Or maybe he just is like, you know what, Dragon? I feel like your VP is weak enough where I can get away with this. Or maybe he feels like he's just. There's no way he could get that probe scout out anyway because the Zelt would be out in time to go ahead and blockade it. And Dragon sending that much earlier probe scout to make to guarantee effectively gets that scouting information. Interesting variation, but that is going to give Jayun a little bit of an economic, just like slight economic advantage, theoretically. But he's playing very, very much in the dark, and he's going to have to rely on some form of pressure, either in Zealot, in Dragoon, or something else, following this up to get eyes on what his opponent's up to. I'm not sure it's going to cost him all that much, based on what Dragon is doing. He's dropping down a second gateway. Probe Scout, go ahead and whoop, drop that down. Probe Scout going ahead and backing off. Jayun starting to position as though he's going for a natural expansion. It looks like he's going to go one gate Robo against two gate. I think this is going to be two gate expand from Dragon. At least that is what he's currently showing. And I think this might play out here because. Never mind. Now a Probe Scout moving out. This feels very late, Probe Scout. And Jayun actually going for. Is he going to go for proxy tech? I think he's going for proxy tech. Initially, I thought he was going to go for, like, a weird route around to try to get the scouting information, to try to blockade it. But it looks like he's just kind of sneaking around, around the corner. Maybe not proxy tech. He's just planting pylons at various locations. Maybe because of that lack of scout, he wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting cheese. This is interesting. Holding up and blockading the ramp. I'm curious about some of these decisions from Jayun comparatively. So he's, he's dropped a pylon here. Has the probe kind of hanging out in the corner. He still has not scouted Dragon at all. He's gone two gate Robo. And it was it's one gate observatory into expansion comparatively for Jayun. And that I feel like that's so risky. So Probe Scout did manage to get he did wipe out the Probe Scout on the front. This is very risky considering he has literally no information comparatively. Four Dragoons. And Dragon moving out upon seeing that scout. He's like, okay, I saw just two Dragoons and a Zealot on that front door, that is enough for me to make me feel like I have a superior gateway count. So he's starting to press into this. June just now dropping that second gateway. He's going to have an earlier observer, yes. 
to get that scouting information, but Dragon might even be able to get... I don't think he wants to shove this that hard up the front, but he is going to be able to get the low ground and box out and prevent a natural expansion from being built. The probe actually able to sneak in this back corner for Jayun. So he sees the lack of a natural expansion, which gives him some ideas now. And I think the observer seeing the amount of troop counts, I think he knows he's going up against uh, two gate at this stage. This probe could be, I don't know, that could be the, pro the X factor in between. Right now, Jayun with the superior economy, but it's still sitting on one base and he's gonna be boxed out of this natural expansion for quite a bit. He does have that reaver being built, but he's gonna have to micro that reaver very, very carefully. That will give it, give him kind of the superior unit composition to kind of press out and try to take that natural expansion. Looks like that probe has in fact revealed itself. Another probe trying to chase it down. Natural expansion being grabbed for dragon. That should go up a little bit earlier. Jaren actually stepping down a little bit early. Ended up losing a Dragoon for his effort. It looks like he was able to kill a single Dragoon and damage the Zealot a little bit. So keeping Dragon on his toes. So the Reaver's up. It's up to Jayun now to utilize this Reaver to go ahead and shove Dragon out of his natural expansion. So he can go ahead and establish it. And then it's going to be kind of a game of catch-up. He does have that Observer. Two Observers actually mirroring each other right there. The Reaver trying to slow poke down. Able to pick off that Zealot. The Dragoon's backing off. And that should give enough purchase for Jayun to go ahead and walk the rest of his army down, but he needs to be careful that he doesn't end up losing this Reaver. It's a very, kind of a game of cat and mouse. Second Reaver being plopped, but the more time that passes that Jaehoon isn't able to control his natural expansion, the more time that this Nexus is going to be up and giving an economic advantage to Dragon. So now starting to move down. The Dragoons did get there, now fully engaging. And actually some nice micromanagement. Dragon just pulling back and he should just, yeah, rescue what Dragoons he can and sack the Dragoons he can't. So you're backing off entirely, and Jayun actually getting super aggressive and chasing down with the rest of the Dragoons. He doesn't have a shuttle just yet. He does have that shuttle being built. He knows he's got to do some catch-up, so it looks like he maybe wants to get in Dragon's face to follow this up. Observer is seeing that Nexus being built, and the two Reavers there. But Dragon already has a lot of Dragoons and his own Reaver on his front door. Second Reaver is going to be there shortly. Jayun holding up in the middle to follow. So right now, Dragon in a superior economic position. June has, however, the Shuttle and Reaver. And here's the other thing with Shuttle and Reaver. When you're moving up like this, sometimes you can kind of elevator troops or whatnot. You can do a little bit of harassment both directions. I haven't seen Dragon with this economic advantage plop down any additional gateways, anything like that to really negate or really to, to utilize is more the word. His current economic advantage. June kind of spreading the Dragoons out what he can do is he can kind of threaten with the Reavers in one location and then kind of scoop them up, spread out the Dragoons in another location, getting some free shots into that natural expansion with the Reavers. So it looks like he just wants to go straight up the front and do some damage. And actually, the Reaver taking initial hit, but his Reaver getting picked off by some additional shots. Actually having to drop out, almost losing his shuttle. So Dragon maintains the economic advantage, contain, continue, or continues to maintain the economic advantage, continues to hold things. So Jayun still economically behind. But with map control, he wants to go ahead and grab his 9 o'clock base. So he wants to move up to a third. And again, because Dragon sitting, about, uh, sitting defensively and really not grabbing additional gateways, it looks like the two gateways plopping in now. It's going to be a while before he can really threaten this. So I kind of like that play. Shuttle speed has been upgraded. Another shot. This is so risky. And that looks like that risk is not going to pay off. That Reaver getting splatted. And now Jayun, I think, has got to think twice about going for an early third. Because he no longer can hold that front door. He does have shuttle speed, so he can maybe do some harassment, things like that, with that. But more gateways are up for Dragon. He does have... He's had two saturated bases comparatively for a long period of time. Jayun now has his... He has his natural expansion saturated. And so it's about... At equivalent production, but you can see Jayun's got the five gateways up. He's got shuttle speed. Feels like he did a pretty good job of uh, kind of equalizing that. Pylon there already at the nine o'clock location. Dragon's starting to move out now. But it's going to be four gate versus five gate, and this is still going to be two base versus... Effectively two bases versus two base. Although with two Reavers down comparatively for Jayun, he does have that single Reaver at that natural, but comparatively... 
Oof. Didn't get to talk. That shuttle immediately ended up picking off a lot of the Dragoons. Eating a lot of those Scarab shots. But doing a good job of just pressing out. And now with closer reinforcement points and some nice micro, Jane should be able to win this fight. Nice micro on Dragon to press up and just do the focus fire on some of these Dragoons. Kind of thinning things out. However, he is going to end up losing this battle overall and map positioning. A probe watching this battle unfold. Yes, Dragoons. Just attack each other. And while that was happening, had a drop, which I think might have been... Didn't get a good look at what the second unit... I think I don't think that was a Reaver. I think that was some Zealots and some Dragoons doing some economic harassment. Maybe it was a Reaver. Actually, I think I should rewind. I'm going to do the uncharacteristic thing. And whoop, I'm going to rewind a little bit to see it. Well, that engagement. We'll go times two. A little bit of an off commentary day. So all this is happening. I missed it as well. Got that harassment happening. This is what, oh, so there's the drop. This is why I don't like this orange color. Or sometimes I look at the minimap and the white disappears in the orange. Actually able to get a lot of economic disruption here. Actually dropping, yeah. So Jayun actually, so I missed it in the midst of this. This is why I usually do the color swap right here, but it's like dual red. Because I looked back. This is me making excuses a little bit, but. For future reference, this is why I don't like orange and white, or when you, when I see orange and white, when I do the swap. Because you'll see, so here you can see the Reaver like moving across the mini map, and you can kind of see the units here. We'll go times four. But you'll notice as soon as they like start entering in certain portions, it like disappears under the orange. So here I'm like looking back and not quite able to see what's anyway. Excuses, excuses. Doesn't matter though. The effective, the effect out of this, and now it feels like we went in a time warp, right? Where it's like, man, everything moving so fast, and now back to the normal speed. So while this attack was happening, and a bit of the distraction, there's just all sorts of scare. Wow, that shot right there. So Dragon now down to 18 probes. Jayun with the huge turnaround, and honestly, just, uh, just, that was the last game. Dragon should maybe just GG here. He's, yeah, he's got to move out with these Dragoons and win the game with what he's got. Jayun, though, has plenty of Dragoons as long as he gets another wave of Dragoons out and can hold with his current Reaver. Should be able to win it. Four gateways continue to produce, but yeah, this is just... It's a big, big hurt. One advantage for Dragon here is he does have that Observer to go ahead and see the Dragoons out there. He's got a probe, actually, at the 12 o'clock, so maybe he's thinking, maybe if I can take an early third, but no, he's just way too far behind on the overall probe count. Shuttle scooping up another Reaver, and Jayun actually moving out of position as Dragon is moving his Dragoons in. This is going to allow a potential pincer attack, that shuttle eating a lot of shots. And Dragon, yeah, losing a lot of these Dragoons there in flight, trying to run, and just eating a lot of damage as that's happening, and now... Once again, Jayun has map position and control. More Dragoons getting picked off, and that I think that's all she wrote. In fact, I would expect a GG right there. Because this shuttle with, what is this, three Dragoons here? Like, this shuttle should find another location if he wanted to. I don't think he should even risk it, honestly. Yeah, he should just hold it nearby. Observer getting picked off as well. Jayun can go ahead and take an additional base if he wants. He can go ahead and camp out on that front door if he wants again. You can go ahead and press things in if he wants. Looks like a... I think that was a probe that was trying to scout there. He can do pr practically anything. I don't know that he needs to risk the shuttle with another uh, drop. So some reaver... Yeah, loses the shuttle, loses the reaver. Doesn't matter, though. Because he's still up 47 to 30. Dropping... And I think he realizes that situation. So he's going to go ahead and get a cannon out on his front. Has a lot of dragoons gathering up to play a positional advantage game. So he just needs to make sure that Dragon doesn't sneak out somehow and grab a quick third. In the meantime, Jayun is a ton of supply at, what is that, 30, 40 supply? And he's fanning out. I like that he's fanning out going ahead and he's already got kind of the spot there, but he's just making sure he's got eyes on these additional locations to make sure a quick third isn't being grabbed someplace he doesn't expect it. More Dragoons and Zelts and a Battle Probe. I think this probe is actually just a scouting probe in this instance. But he's going to sacrifice his life to go ahead and 
see things out. Dragon moving out again. Shuttle 2 Reaver. There's no Reaver support with this particular grouping. But there is a shuttle nearby. High ground advantage. And actually, Dragon... Oof. Kind of walking headlong into that. Maybe a little bit despondent. He's trying to tempt Jayun into... Nice long distance. Wow, that traveled forever. Trying to tempt him into a disadvantageous location. Three Dragoons actually camping in that bottom right corner waiting for a probe to just approach or maybe a shuttle to come across overhead. Dragon is grouping up a little bit in the probe. Yeah, just making sure there's no additional expansions. Playing it safe. High Templar have now joined the party. Storm should be finished. Looks like there's some Zealots that might be going for an end around. This probe is going to be able to walk up and see a yeah, Dragon going for that greedy third Nexus. Zelt's going to drop all over that, because this is the bulk of the army here. I don't know that four Zelt's dropped to that 12 o'clock location to be able to defend. Yeah. Actually, just going to drop off two Zelt, so it's going to be two and two. Two Zelt's dropped in the main. There are some Dragoons to go ahead and engage the Zelt's at least at that location. So more harassment from Jayun. This is going to be more economic disruption. More economic disruption. Critically, though, if Dragon can somehow... Is he going to... I don't know that he's going to protect this Nexus, though. Maybe if he can sneak out something. Is he going to cancel? I'm waiting for Dragon to cancel. Okay, there's the cancel. Force cancellation there. Jayun now taking that Nexus to the 9 o'clock. A Dark Templar trying to sneak through to the main. Zero kills thus far. While that's happening... Dragon is finding those Dragoons in that bottom right-hand corner. The Dark Templar getting some room. That's going to force an Observer that direction. So getting some harassment done. That shuttle with some High Templar in it. Wow, nice drop-off to provide some defense. There's a counter shuttle with some Reavers, but already a dropping. Ah, oh, huge storms! So there's the lone DT who thinks he's winning the war for a Dragon. But in the meantime, at home, the probe count continues to be stymied by just persistent harassment. He is going to get one gateway. Probe's actually running away. The main actually mined out. Wow, this game actually lasting a little bit longer than I thought it would. So main's actually mined out for Jayun. Dark Templar finally taken out. Was able to get one probe kill. That, I gotta say though, that was a hero High Templar. But Dragon finally calling GG right there. Realizing he's just way too far behind economically. And also Jayun is already transferring probes from his main to his 9 o'clock base. So GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of a rough commentary for me. I'll do one more. Try to make up for it. That's two games to team uh, Jayun Hawk Striker Machine. Again, check out these guys streamer, streaming. Eagle Burger are recognized. So that's... I'll just give the shout outs to the end. So Raz BW is uh, Raz's Taragi. I'm... I think that might be a... I'm not sure whose alt that is. That may be Gypsy's alt, but you can see Gypsy at Gypsy93. Uh, Dragon at Dragon BW. Jayun at Jayun as J A E Y U N. Just, if anybody has just streaming information, let me know. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.